Hello, I am Benjamin and we are on the Tasty Trail in Korea. Today I want to show you something which is very important in Korean food, which is called the namul. Namul are vegetables prepared as side dishes. Usually they are picked up in the countryside, of course, and as you can see, we are still in Seoul. Before uh, going further, I want to show you first what is a namul. Okay, finding my way in the maze of the basement of this huge hotel. And here we are in the kitchen, and this is the chef. And you want to say, oh, hello. Oh, hello. hello, Mr. Yeah, Chang. Hello yeah, very nice to meet you. And thank you for welcoming us in your kitchen. So now we have in front of us, I see all the ingredients for the namul, which are all these side dishes made with different vegetables. 오늘은 뭘 준비하셨습니까? 네, 오늘은 이제 버덕 무침하고요. 당기 무침, 취나물 무침, 참나물 무침을 해 보려고 합니다. 그래서 오늘은 또 오신 채 외국인들이 좀 싫어하는 오신 채 마늘 뭐파 이런 거는 아주 배제하고요. 어, 싫어할까요? That's the first time for me to hear that someone can hate manner, garlic. Do you hate garlic? I don't think so. We yeah, love 좋아하죠. garlic. <laughs> strong taste. The difference between what we call the namul and other kind of side dishes, and especially the difference with the changati or the kimchi, is that the namul are not fermented. We can eat right away, almost directly after cooking. And that's what we are going to do. We are going to taste. Thank you. Mm. I love it too. Mm. Mm. That's something you cannot really communicate through a camera. But the flavor, it's difficult to compare it to anything else. So I'm a little bit speechless in front of this taste. I think that's uh, one of the beauties of, uh, uh, of the namul in general and of the Korean cuisine with something quite simple. A spoon of red rice and some vegetables. You can have some very complex and unique experience in terms of senses. So you see, cuisine is not always about complicated techniques and fancy uh, equipments and incredible ingredients. It's also about uh, knowing how to uh, cultivate the simplicity. And that's what I like in the Namul, the simplicity. Let's go to Chongsan. It's one of my favorite places in Korea. You know, it's in the, the deep, deep, deep mountain area of Gangwon province. And uh, look at that, we, we start to arrive in Gangwon-do. trains in Korea, like this one, all trains, they are very comfortable and they go through very special remote areas that usually 
cannot reach by car. So it's always a very interesting, slow, but very interesting way to travel in Korea. Here we are in the market of Chongson. Chongson has a very famous car market in all Korea, which opens every five days. And you can shop for a lot of different things, like here we have um, teas, but you have also roots, you have medicinal plants and herbs. Here, for example, these are the namul, but dried namul. So these ones are plants that you can eat, but you have, like in this shop, a lot of different herbs and plants used mostly as a medicine. But in Korea, the line between medicine and food is very ambiguous. So we'll come back to that problem later. But just to show you that here in this area, we have a lot of things coming from the mountains and the forest, and everything can be eaten or taken as a medicine. So that's the Namul paradise. This is the Mokjagolmok, that's the food uh, stalls alley. Very famous in that market. Famous for what? For the Gondo Repap. So I'm going to show you what's uh, this specialty. Gondo Repap. This is the condore pap. So it's rice, the pap, mixed with condore. What is condore? Condore, the, it's a plant from the, the mountains of Korea. We don't have an English name for that one. So you add to your taste a little bit of soy sauce. It's a simple dish, but in a spoon you have all the flavors of the wild forests of the Kangwondo. Here we are in the famous Auraji. This is a uh, place in the Kangwon province, which is famous for the two streams here, which meet to make the south branch of the Han River, which uh, goes through Seoul. This is a beautiful area in the deep valleys, and I think it's a good place to start our research, our trip uh, to look for the Namul. You know it's my favorite kind of meal. The simple and the best kind of meal we can have in Korea for me because it's diversity and beauty on the table. We have the soup, we have the rice, and more important today, we have all these side dishes based on namul. And that's not all, we have also a specialist, a healthcare food specialist with us today who is going to help us understand what we are eating here today. This one it's uh, made with the um, red hot chili pepper paste. This one is just blanched, I guess. This is what you eat? Is it just like you eat it? This is just like you eat it. Ah, you eat it. Yeah, you eat it. And this one, it's a, a kimchi, a water kimchi mm. of uh, yolmu, which is uh, young uh, radish leaves, and 
you have the bellflower root inside of it. So, 한국에서도 그렇고 이 지방에서 특별히 네. 이렇게 많이 나오는 것 같은데 도라지에 대해서 좀 예. 네. 뭐 도라지 뭐 효능은 지금 그 이눌린이라고 하는 성분이 들어 있어서 네. 항암 효과도 있고 예. 한국 사람들이 특히 이제 기침을 한다든지 예. 뭐 가래가 있어 가지고 할때 네. 예, 도라지를 많이 먹으면 네. 어, 효과가 좋기 때문에 예, 도라지를 많이 먹고 있습니다. 네. 네. 이이이 친화물 뭐, 뭔가요? 네. 무슨 친가요? 그거는? 어, 이 친화물도 역시 특히 이제 강원도 지역에서 네. 많이 나는 아주 특히 한국 사람들이 그 친화물 향을 굉장히 좋아하죠. 네. 네. 이제 친화물 같은 경우는 이제 혈전 용해 작용이 굉장히 강해 가지고 그 특히 이제 혈에 좀 뭔지, 뭐가 문제 있는 분들이 네. 친화물을 드시면 굉장히 좋은 어떤 역할이 있고요. So here we have this chinamul, which is uh, this one has been blanched, dried, and then blanched again and mixed with the seasonings, or maybe sauteed. It depends on the recipe. But I, I've heard that you have here as a form of changaji. 여기 장아지 chinamul도 있죠. 예. 어떤 겁니까? 이건가요? 아니면 이건가요? 예, 곰치. 아, 곰치. 곰치. Okay, that's the one I really like. Especially as a jangaji. So, jangaji is something uh, I would like to take some uh, minutes to explain because it's uh, really important, I think, in Korean food. Jangaji is a way to preserve the food. It's a kind of jang. It's a way to preserve the food for many months, sometimes for many years. 제가 장아지 되게 좋아하는데 근데 조금 그 걱정하는 게 뭐냐면 요새는 너무 차게 먹으면 안 된다고 yeah. 그래서 원래는 장아찌 좀찬 편이니까 yeah. 어떻게 너무 많이 먹으면 예 yeah, 그렇죠 그러니까 되겠죠. 적절히 먹어야 되고 좀, yeah. 특히 장아찌는 이제 좀짠 편이기 때문에 yeah. 요즘 뭐 웰빙 음식의 가장 큰 문제로 삼고 있는 것이 그 짜게 먹는 것이 지금 문제가 되지 않습니까 그래서 이제 뭐 적절하게 먹는다 밥하고 같이 그래서 먹는다고 그러면 그럼 기본적인 규칙이 항상 예. 그냥 균형 있게 그럼요. 예. 먹어야 된다고 예, 예, 맞습니다. And that's what I like very much 예. in the in this kind of table. 예. You have the choice. You have a lot of different elements. So naturally you are going to pick here and there and you are going to make a kind of balance in your body with all these good elements. So as usual, don't overdo with one only one uh, dish. You know, even if you like it, make a balance, and that's what is going to bring the the effect, the good effect on you. Once again, food is not like going to the doctor. If you eat, it's not for the medicine, but the food can be a medicine if you have a good balance and if you respect this kind of um, balance on the table. <laughs> I wanted to show you that the namul, it's not only in the deep forest that you can find it, of course. You can find it in this area, which is in between, between the fields and the forest. So we are here with Mr. Kim. Uh, uh, 선생님, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Uh, Mr. Kim is, uh, is a farmer of the area and he's also a very good specialist, actually, of all the namul and all the medicinal plants growing in the forest. So we came together because he's going to help us a lot. 여기 보면 뭐 모르는 사람이라면 여기 잡초라고 생각하죠. 근데 예. 사실은 거의 다 먹을 수 있지 않습니까? 그렇죠. 예. 모르시는 분은 다 잡초고요. 예. 저희 어머님이 보시면 산나물이고요. 예. 반의사가 <웃음> 보시면 다 약수입니다. 예. So uh, it's quite interesting. Look at that. For example, here we have 이거는 고비죠. 예, 고비입니다. 고비. That's eagle fern. Fern that we eat at the beginning of the spring, we harvest it, we dry it after we can boil it and saute, and it's absolutely delicious. We saw, I saw something, uh, maybe it's further, ah, it's here, this one. So, 위에 있는 곳은 그 분홍색, 거의 보라색 된 곳은 그 컷이잖아요. 예, 예. 그거 당리예요? 
한국의 토종 당귀입니다. 어, oh, that's a Korean tangui, something which is uh, special to Korea, and it's something we eat as well. It's very good, very fragrant. It's tangui. It's a kind of Korean angelica. 이거 먹죠 나물로. 나물로도 먹고요. 뿌리는 약재에 쓰여지는 거고요. Okay, and the roots can be eaten as a medicine in Korean traditional. Medicine and the, the leaves uh, have a very nice fragrance. Eh? The leaves, when they are smaller, this one a little bit big, can be eaten as a namul. That's a, a typical namul. Uh, what else? Do tarango is a kayo? Yoginan. Yenan. Kondure. Ah, kondure. Yeah, honey mogul singing. Okay, that's the kondure. Eh? The uh, ligularia from this area that we dry. And then later, after uh, blanching, we can saute and eat it with the rice, condore pap. Huh? So that's the leaves, you see. Sukto mancho, yogi chogi. Look at that here. Sukigoya. We have the mugwort. In Korean, it's suk. So you can, you can understand the difference between the yakcho. Yakcho, it's uh, the, uh, a, a kind of, yeah, it's a plant which is used as a medicine. And the namul, it can be as well as a medicine, but it's mainly something you eat as a side dish, so, or as a vegetable. So it's quite different. Because the yakcho, properly speaking, is not something which is for the food. Ige momnika, ongongui katun koshin. Denon oi pul la gromida, oi pul. It's called the cucumber, cucumber plant because uh, the, the small leaves, when eaten young, have the taste of cucumber. So uh, it's a little bit late, you have to eat the new buds in spring, and after, when it's big, it's used as a medicine once again. So you see, just, we did what, like 20 meters, and you have like dozens of plants that you can eat if you know them. Let's go deeper in the forest and we'll see much more. Sanseim, so mite ke shinsek poshi monik monga yo? Ah, gumbumi la gulaja, gumbumi. Kogo to mogo yo? Namulu do mokko, uri do yakje sugo inu. Ah, ah, what namu? Oh, that's something which is uh, interesting. It's not at all an amul, it's more like a fruit. It's the, the, the kiwi, the Korean kiwi, tare. Uh, but we don't have fruits now, I think. But it's uh, the ancestor of the kiwi. And we eat it also, even though it's not super sweet. But there is something much more interesting over there, the San Manuel. I don't know if there are much at this time of the year. San Manuel is like a tampon. Yes, it's also. In the summer, it's like a tampon. Okay, so that's the end of the season, you see. It's, uh, uh, if we translate, it's a uh, mountain garlic it's a garlic a wild garlic which is absolutely delicious you eat the leaves only 여기에 이렇게 꽃이 피어 있는 건요 예 취나물의 종류입니다 얘도 아 그것도 that's 예. also a, a 취나물 이 잎이 단풍잎처럼 생겨 돼서 단풍취라고 불러집니다 단풍취다 Wow, it was really nice. I learned a lot of things and I hope you understood that in the forest you have thousands of plants, but you have no weeds almost. All the plants, all the herbs can be eaten and can be used for something. That's something you have to remember when you uh, have a walk in the countryside or in the forest. Everything has to be protected and preserved. And that's the, one of the lessons of the Namu.
Hamul goes back to the origin of the human diet. In the past, our ancestors didn't have the choice but to gather, to forage their food in the mountains, in the plains, wherever their nomadic life led them. Of course, it changed a lot, but in Korea, we kept that tradition. Partly because many people couldn't afford to eat rice or meat or expensive and rare foods, especially during the winter. Nowadays it's changed, of course, with the slow food and all these movements. Uh, we want a, a more vegetarian diet. We want to eat more food with these good nutrients coming directly from the, na from the nature. So that's why nowadays we are more interested in the Namul and in a diet including a lot of vegetables. So it's a perfect timing for the Namul and I would like you to come with me. We are going to uh, eat one of these delicious dishes called the Sanche Namul Bibimbap. famous place for the sanche. The sanche are the vegetables from the mountains. So it's a very um, uh, similar concept to the namul, actually. Oh, a beautiful table. Look at that. Wow. We have a lot here of uh, sanche namul. Sanche means the vegetable from the mountain. It's more specific. Anyway, it's a lot of different uh, shoots and limbs and roots. And here I have what we call the bibimbap. You know the bibimbap? Um, that's such a very famous Korean dish. Bibimbap, bibida, it's a verb which means to, um, to mix in a way. So you mix food in a bowl. You have the rice, of course, some kochujang, the red hot chili pepper paste, sesame oil, and you put in the bowl all the vegetables that you like. So first I'm going to put the rice. So let's not forget that this kind of food in Korea, still very important, has long and deep roots in Korean history. Uh, one of them is the necessity. Necessity brought by the special uh, climate conditions of Korea. Korea is a very cold country with a very harsh winter and it needs to have a way to find its food during that long period of time where nothing grows outside. So that's why the, uh, the namul, which can be tried and preserved in many ways, were so important. In Korea, we have also the Buddhist religion. Well, mostly cereals, beans, grains, and of course, the namul and sanche and uh, yakcho, all the vegetable plant herbs growing in the mountains where you find the Buddhist temples. So I think that uh, Buddhist religion was also very important in influencing that uh, Namu tradition in Korea. So we shouldn't forget that. And there are, of course, more reasons. I mentioned that nowadays we have the slow food uh, and well-being trends, which uh, make the people much more conscious about their health and the way they are eating and turning back to um, a diet focusing on vegetables. Mm. Perfect seasoning. Perfect seasoning. heart of Korea, the Gangwon province, to explain you the heart of Korean cuisine, which is the namul. You understood namul? It's a vegetable served as a side dish, but it's much more than that. It could 
be a medicinal food. Actually, it's a food which gives you the energy of the mountains and also the energy of the spring, the energy of Korea. I'll meet you next time on our next Tasty Trail with Benjamin. See you, bye-bye. When you come to Korea or if you go to a Korean restaurant, don't simply have the Korean barbecue, which is good, I know, but it's boring after a while. Look at what we have here. That's what is the real Korean experience. Simple, maybe, in a way, but wonderfully rich. And rich, I mean, in the good sense of the word. So it's not 